what does the report look like? Well, there's uh, this particular one, there's lots of information about the car that's in here. There's lots of photographs of the car. You know, what is in here? How do I come up with this? I look at comparables, I go online, I find uh, as many comparable sales as I can of like vehicles, make the adjustments for those, write the whole report up on the computer, have all the information stored in there. This particular uh, one right here, in fact, this what you're looking at is this particular appraiser that I've been appraisal that I've been carrying around. So I have uh, information on the various. I, I talked about the condition of the body. There we have comments on that paint, chrome, bumpers. Uh, sometimes these uh, various sections are very long and descriptive. Sometimes they're short. A funny thing about car appraisals is the nicer the car, usually the shorter the appraisal because you don't have a lot to say other than the body is in excellent condition or the interior here is in excellent condition and you describe the various aspects but uh, you're not talking about uh, past damage or repairs that are needed or anything like that. So you have the various aspects of the vehicle. Uh, here I have comparables on this particular car. This appraisal that I have in front of me, this was a 1941 Lincoln Continental. So I was using Lincoln Continentals from 1940 on up to 1948 because the bodies were very, very similar on those cars. The grills changed over the years, but from the grill back, uh, from the hood back, was pretty much the same car. And my feeling is on a car like that, if somebody's interested in buying a 47 Lincoln, they'd also consider a 48 or a 41 or whatever. So this particular car, uh, I have the, the comparables that I found. I described the various cars. Uh, what they're like, what they sold for, and then I always talk about market guides. There's various books, periodicals, uh, NADA, Blue Book, that sort of thing that you can go out and pick up and they'll give you an idea what some cars are worth, what they think they're worth. The, the funny thing about all those market guides is no two of them have the same opinion. And some of them are even regional. There's some that uh, may be more reflective of cars in the Pacific Northwest or the Southwest or the Northeast. Uh, so I take a look at all of those and get an idea what the various market guides think that a car like the subject is worth. Then I just kind of look at all of this, think about what I've, I've uh, seen, what the car is like, the condition of it, and all of this distills down to what I think the car is worth.